Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala. minutes after nine o'clock jim george is here professor gadget as we know him he's here to talk about those little things that you'd like to look at as you're walking down the sidewalk or other things guys i saw this great magic trick on a a clip from the ellen DeGeneres show too with an ipad uh if you want to call in you're welcome to do that you're a part of the show as much as we are the number is 622-9622 good morning jim good morning how are you doing i'm doing fine thank you you were just telling me about helen george it's not it's not high tech anything but that's a cool sounding place it's cool it's really cool robin you got to see this place called helen georgia we had it in our segment this morning about uh the, 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 oh, about the, the camping cabins. cabins. Oh, yeah. unbelievable I remember. Place. And uh, in a nutshell, Jim was saying that the, they tore the, the <laughs> town went bankrupt. They tore the buildings down. They rebuilt it as an alpine town. And it's, oh, nice. It, and it looks like Germany. <laughs> it does. It looks nice. like Christmas is what it looks like to me. And when people, the, the people, the houses are on the side of the mountain and they're all, you know, on stilts, just like you'd see if you were driving through Ooh. the Alps. That mm-hmm. is cool. Oh, unbelievable. wonderful. And it's, it's, I'm, sh- I'm assuming that far north it gets cold. It does get cold. So this is a nice place to go. It is gorgeous there. Eight, eight hours away. A lot said. of the listeners, if they they know of Helen, Georgia, they will call in and I'll tell you about the events nice. of their life in Helen. But when my wife and I, we got married in 1975. We got divorced in 1976. And we got remarried in 1978. You did? Uh-oh. And, uh, but the lady you married to now. Yeah, we loved each other. We just couldn't stand so each other. So she's your first and your second wife. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I thought about my being my third wife, and I said, no, I think I'll just let le- well enough alone. Oh, there you <laughs> go. But to make a long story short, when we got back together again, we decided to meet in Helen, Georgia. Is that right? And that's where we fell back in love again and got married. Nice. We got married here, but I mean, that's was where it, we... Was it an alpine town at that time? It was. It's been an alpine v- town for a long time. Oh, really? That is a cool Beautiful. story. And, and I have all kinds of stories to talk to you about. Unbelievable. Never that's never heard wonderful. of that before. I get to the... Uh, I, I fly up to Atlanta, Georgia. I didn't drive. I flew up to Atlanta, Georgia, and I was going to rent a car to go into Helen, Georgia. And my wife was flying into Atlanta, and she was going to meet me, and we were going to drive into... And we went to rent a car, and they would not rent me a car. Really? And I said, I'm paying cash for it. Oh, yeah. that's why. Because I, I I didn't have a credit card back yeah. in 1970. That's why. So, you know? Right. And a total stranger came up to me and said, here, well, I'll let you use my credit card. Would take no money for it. Oh, wow. Did, knew what my wife and I were trying to do, trying to re- regroup. Wow. And said, just do me a favor. Don't crash it and don't do me wrong. And I said, fine. And we went and we spent a week in Helen, Georgia, came back and and of course, cried it to his credit card, and then I called him and said the total came to a thousand something, whatever it was, and he said, "Fine, send me a check," and I did. Oh wow! Total stranger sitting in, sitting in the airport. Wow, that I, is an amazing those story. Are, those are things that don't happen much. Getting, right? wait, getting divorced and remarried—that's that's a cool story yeah, too. Yeah, that was a good. That was that was good. Wow. With the stranger with the credit card, because once you get that credit card number, you could use and abuse it. Yeah, well, and, and there again, he just turned it into the car company itself. But you're right; on the form was the credit card number and all mm-hmm. that sort of stuff. But yeah, and we became pretty good friends. And he lived in Indiana, and I never, I only saw him once after that in all the years. Mm-hmm. Hmm. He passed away about, about maybe ten years ago. But oh the, my! But we've been married forty years, my wife and I. So well, congratulations, four decades. Did That's something wonderful. right, I guess. Yeah. So do you have any technology you want to tell us about? Well, we, we had an interesting meeting uh, this week. As a matter of fact, it was uh, Tuesday. The manufacturer of my uh, box, my set-top converter box, uh-huh. came up, and we went to meet with the city. And we talked to the city about being on their fiber optic network. It was not the city of Ocala. It was another city. They loved it. They loved everything about it. They had just told us they had taken a demographic study about what people want. 
They do not want linear TV, which is Channel 2, Channel 3, Channel 4, Channel 5, and everything being the same as everybody else. They wanted to pick and choose their channels. Um, they, they did not want massive bandwidth, you know, 50 meg, 100 meg. They just wanted enough megabits to do their internet and that kind of stuff. In other words, they wanted to reduce their bill. That was the entire city's uh, thing. So they made us an offer we can't refuse. They're going to allow us to be on their fiber optic network and, and feed the city as soon, oh, soon as we're up and running. And they want no money for it. We even offered them a, a certain amount of money per home per month that they let us. And they said, nope, you can do it. We welcome you in. We, we, we wish that you guys had been here five years earlier. I said, well, so do we, but we. <laughs> wow. So that's another technology that. Did I miss uh, what city or did you not tell I us? did not tell you what city. Yet, okay. Is, it, is there a reason for that? Yes, there is. Okay. We, until right. it gets finalized and the city fathers all bless it and everything. We don't need people calling and say, hey, why are you doing this? Did Ocala turn it down? We haven't, we haven't met with Ocala yet. Oh, okay. Ocala, okay. the uh, person that we need to meet with Ocala was on vacation. Oh, okay. And he says that, he, that the city has paid for a survey to be done just like this other city had paid for okay. and they're waiting for the survey to get back but they're they're pretty well thinking that the survey will be identical and that's and the only person that is come forward is us well all they need to do is listen to your show on WOCA and yeah. their survey will be already taken because a lot of the listeners yeah. are waiting for those individual channels yes and they wanted cultural channels. they said that of the people that they interviewed and this was a uh, not not a large town, but a medium-sized town. They said people want international channels. They'd like to see uh, f channels from France and channels mm -hmm. from Colombia. And matter right. of fact, for our demonstration, we showed them a channel streaming from Chile. We showed them one streaming from Brazil. Uh, we showed them streaming one from Tel Aviv. We had one streaming from Dubai. So they could see the quality of the channels streaming from across the ocean into us. And he, they were all impressed. They said, man, this is sharp. This is... And the channel change was instantaneous. You didn't have to change the channel and wait because it's not like cable TV and this, I mean, uh, internet TV in the sense it has to go find it. Mm -hmm. we're, we're storing them on our server. They're, they're here now. So when you change the channel, it just changes the channel. So when will you, so after that deal is finalized between you and that particular city how long will it be before they're up and running december we're going to launch uh, do all the band with the band you know the parade and everything in december and uh, basically start everything brand new january so oh okay we'll have installs in december but uh -huh. we, we would like to uh, do the dog and pony and the beta testing and everything in december and then full launch in january and they want um they want a thousand boxes day one or they they actually want to help be our marketing company they want to actually go to places that they are trying to get in with internet mm -hmm. and say hey if you come if you take our internet look we can we can give you tv nice just like cox just like comcast just like everybody wow else. so they want to use me I go, wow. wow. Instead of me using great. them, they want to use me. So wow. January 1st. It'll I know. So it's a big move on our part. We're, we're very excited about it. So that's one of the things that's happened. And, of course, there's a lot of new gadgets on the market. You um, you know, they, they have these slim computers now. I'm going gonna, mm -hmm. gonna to get me one. Oh. I think it's called the Surface 3. Have you seen the Surface 3? I don't know. I've, I've seen commercials. I don't know what I've seen them yeah, for. Yeah, it's though. really thin. It's about as thin as a sheet of paper. No, not, not quite that thin, but it's, wow. it's very thin, and I'm carrying around like a 15-pound laptop. Yeah, right, um, right, yeah, right, 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 right. <laughs> when I go to the uh, to the airport, i got to take it out and all this other stuff, you know, and, and all I really need are my emails, maybe Word, maybe an Excel spreadsheet, you know, some mm -hmm. stuff like that. And, and um, I went, I've seen them at Best Buy and Staples and the rest. They're about $400 a piece. But uh, for July 4th special, it's $150 off. Wow. 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 It's 250 so bucks then. That's right. great. <laughs> I know. So I'm going to go ahead and, and get one of them for myself. Good for you. And, um, and like I said, very thin. I think the total thickness is maybe a half inch. Wow. Okay. Okay. I can picture that. And it's size of a large ipad maybe um like a sheet of paper maybe eight and a half by eleven wow. but, but really smaller right? wow. yeah well, it's a nice size screen then yeah. if it's that size decent size so we got more technology including uh machine vision technology i want to ask you if you know about machine this machine vision yeah right. so we'll take a little break and, f and come back with jim george Professor Gadget, if you want to be part of the show, just call up. You don't have to have a question. You can interject some thoughts. 622-9622. We'll be right back. 
The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. Friday night, a thunderstorm in spots, otherwise partly cloudy, low 73 to 75. On Saturday, periods of clouds and sunshine with a shower or thunderstorm in the afternoon, high 92 to 94. Partly sunny with a shower or thunderstorm on Sunday, high 92 to 95. Here's what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. Over 40% of women surveyed will check out your LinkedIn to see how you're doing job-wise. But stuffing your anger down isn't the answer either. In fact, that makes blood pressure skyrocket even more than screaming. Instead, go for a run. The latest coverage options are heavy-duty, designed to conceal even the biggest and baddest tattoos while still looking natural. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. Hi, Danny Warfel here. Get moving with Florida Credit Union's fast and easy loan approval process. Let Florida Credit Union start up a new car loan for you today. No more waiting, hassles, or stop signs. You can even apply online. With a strong financial team behind you, you can enjoy great rates and fast approvals. It's all about personalized service and a streamlined process. Florida Credit Union, connecting your money to your life. Career Source Citrus Levy Marion brings together business and community partners, economic development leaders, and educational providers to connect employers with qualified, skilled talent, and job seekers with employment and career development opportunities. Tune in the first and third Wednesday of each month at 9:30 a.m. to Career Source Citrus Levy Marion and learn how they can help you. That was the sound of a tree falling. It could be your tree. You're going to have it trimmed, but never got around to calling Pride Tree Service. It could have fallen in a field, and now all you have to do is call Pride Tree Service, and they'll have it quickly out of the way for a great price. But don't wait until the tree falls. It may not fall in the field. It may hit your car, your house, or worse. So call Pride Tree Service today and avoid all those headaches before they happen. Pride Tree Service, 840-0750. That's 840-0750. Putting the local back into radio. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. W-O-C-A News. Variety. Information. Now. Keep your arms and legs on the inside at all times. Your source for the number one sports weekend. Fox Sports. Only on 96.3 FM. 1370 AM. This is WOCA, News Talk 1370. All right, 18 minutes after 9 o'clock. Jim George is here, Professor Gadget, and he's got some exciting news. You've been working so long and so hard to make some of these things happen yeah. uh, for yourself and your customers. That yes. it's, it's good news to hear somebody's it's finally coming through for it's you. It's finally so. coming through. Yeah, the, and the people of Ocala will go crazy when they finally realize what this thing does. Because theoretically... Well, your listeners have heard you talk about it for a long yeah. time now, so... Well, I was just talking to you about our go-back technology. Our go-back technology is, is uh, if you missed a, a movie you wanted to see and it was uh, two, two hours old, you've, you've missed it for two hours, you can still go back and watch it. So it's like video on demand, but only you're on the channel you want, like channel two or nine or whatever channel you want, and all you do is just go back. And, the, and as the time and date changes, it could be a week ago, you go back, you see the movie you want, and someone tells you, did you watch that game last, you know, last week? Right, right, no, right. I didn't see the game. Oh, you can go back and get it. Wow, wow. So we have go-back technology. Um, our electronic programming guide is really unique because it, uh, we have people that are writing it for us instead of the ones where it says, uh, man meets woman falls in love in zoo, you know? Mm-hmm. And you have no idea what the movie's about. <laughs> right. you know? But our stuff talks about... You know, Bob Hastings from so-and-so, you know, travels to New York and meets a zookeeper at this. You know, it, it, tell, it tells you the Give story. Gives you more details. So you yeah. know if you want to watch that device, that movie or <laughs> right, not. Right, so, right, 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 right. So that's interesting. So everything we're doing is cutting edge, just really right to the edge. Mm-hmm. So there was a story in the news that I, I thought I would share with you. If yeah. you hadn't already heard about it, it's called Machine Vision Technology. And the first thought I had was, what's that, a camera? What does that mean? Uh-huh. Well, if let's say I come home. And uh, I, I would have to be married for this to work, but my <laughs> but let's say the wife says, "Oh, you're home. Uh, let me get you your favorite cup of coffee or whatever, right?" Right. So this machine vision technology does the same. Exa- it recognizes who you are, 
or what you are anything so if it doesn't recognize you for example it's an intruder and it, it'll uh, send an alarm but if it sees you it'll, it'll say oh you want me to get the coffee ready you don't have to do anything you just it just it recognizes you or it recognizes they, they were talking about using it at a, at a bottling plant for beer brewery where the 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 uh, they have the eyes the machine vision technology literally looking at every bottle to a make sure it's filled to the right amount and b make sure there's no imperfections in the beer mm-hmm. so i just so that and, and here's here's the facts of this the the association of advanced automation this is the one i have to read which is a trade group that uh, i guess regulates this stuff and reports on this says that the the sensors that make these things are selling at the rate of 520 million dollars uh, which is up from $426 million the same period last year. Um, the, the machine vision technology. Let's see. Oh, gosh. I'm, uh, well, yeah, they pass by the assembly line so fast a human eye can't detect it. Mm-hmm. You, you need the, you know, the machine. Yeah, well, anyway, so I guess obviously a lot of people are uh, investing money in these things, like the beer brew- yeah. brewery, yeah. yeah, the beer company. Well, you know, they, they, have it, they, they have it now for your home. They've had it for years. So uh, you walk into your house and you have a keypad, just like your, your alarm. Now you can turn the, you can make it part of your alarm. It's actually an adapter. So you put in your code. So uh, you have a code, Ronnie has a code, your kids, they all have a separate code. So when you put it in, it knows that's you. Mm-hmm. And, and, you and you've already, and you can program it to start brewing coffee. You can program it for turn the water heater on. So the water heater is off all day. And when you come in, it turns on the water heater. So by the time you finally get ready to take a bath, let's say it's a half an hour, 40, the hot water heater's done. And then you can punch in another code and it'll turn the water heater off if it's just you living alone and all of that. So what you're saying though is now you don't have to punch in a code. It's gonna sense it's you. Do you know what's interesting? If you walked into my house with a Larry mask on, I wonder if my dog would know it was you or no. no it wasn't me no he would smell oh, he know. would smell she would know yeah because of the smell so like Jim said so if this vision technology can detect a, an intruder chances are it won't be as good as a dog or at least not now maybe one day but right, it, if you right. think about it it'll if like i could put on a mask a, a, a donald trump mask walk into john donald trump's place and the, the thing oh hey donald <laughs> I don't think so. It, no, you don't think so? No, because of the body, too. I mean, sure. probably your body will be scanned and things like that. Oh, okay. so, there'll be facial recognition, yeah. but there'll also be other features, probably, like height. You know, now if, he, if he's 6'2 and you're 6'2, that's fine. So if, if we're the same height and everything, you could fool it. It's close. But you couldn't yeah. fool a dog. I think a dog would know. That's, a dog that's would not know. my guy. Yeah. dog would dog know. Would know. <laughs> Can't fool a dog. There was a story also this morning about these two self-driving cars... From, from competing companies that had a near miss. Yeah. Did you hear that? I did hear that. And, and of course, the proponents are saying, well, that's, that's evidence that this works because they didn't hit. They didn't collide with them. <laughs> and if they did hit, what would that be evidence of? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we do have a, a phone call. Good morning. You're on the air with Jim. Yeah, good morning, guys. Very good program this morning. I hope I'm not going to spoil it with this goofy question, but uh, what, what was used before alkaline and batteries? Oh, you mean the different ingredients? Yeah. Well, they had all type of acids besides alkali, um, and, and I'm not a I'm not a history buff on it, but I remember that we used to have batteries that were phosph- phosphorus, and of course, the, they didn't want you to destroy them. But as kids, we used to open up the battery because it was it was phosphorescent, and we would rub it on our hands, and then oh no, and, and then in the evening time we would walk around like little ghouls, you know, our hands <laughs> oh, were all no. phosphorus, you know. So I'm sure they had different types of, uh, you know, chemicals like yeah. alkaline. Is, is alkaline, is that like a liquid or a powder? It is a powder, I believe. Powder. Uh, you, See, t- now, just take a battery and break it open. You'll know. <laughs> a long way in a, like a radio or something, what would happen? If you did what to it? So if you inserted the batteries backwards in the wrong, you know, the wrong way in a, a, a transistor radio or a toy, uh, what would happen? Nothing. It'd run the battery down because you're putting hot to ground. Okay. Is there any danger of a fire or anything? It would probably get warm, but it would not create a fire, no. I, I can't imagine that. Now, you know that if you have anything that's battery operated, you don't want to leave the batteries in for months and months and months, right? 
Yes, because uh, I had a problem with them leaking and wrecking a, a, a TV flicker, you know, a remote for me. And they, it leaked out and it destroyed it, you know. They will do that. What we do is we have these little Ziploc bags. They're real small. You can get them at any dollar store. They're, they're maybe two inches by three inches, you know, and you open them up and you put the two batteries or three batteries in and just put it with the item. That way when you go to grab your flashlight, or go, you know, your batteries are not in it. They're next to it. Right, right. What, what would be the proper way of disposing batteries like that? You know, it's thinking of landfills and all that. Yeah, I take all my batteries to Sears. I was this morning over at the Electronic Wholesale House, and I asked them, I said, can I drop off my big batteries to you for disposal? And they said, nope. Um, we, don't, we no longer do that. Sears is the only people we know who still does it. That's wow. a great community oh, yeah. service, by the way. Now, you can take them to the landfill, and they have a place every Tuesday and every Thursday that will accept them from you. No charge. You just drop off your batteries. They, they, oh, really? They'll even take car batteries, but if you're going to do car batteries, take it over to Hurricane Battery or Interstate Battery, and they'll pay you for the battery. Gosh. Well, do you think they, they bury those a certain way? They don't bury them at all. No, they oh. take them apart. Oh, uh, and they reuse the stuff, huh? They don't reuse it, but they take them apart and take the dangerous stuff out of them. Huh. Okay, very good. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I think you have another phone call. Uh, good morning. You're on the air with Jim. I think they're not there, actually. You there? Okay. Whoever it was just hung up. So yeah. call, call back. You, there's an open spot right now. Yeah, batteries are one of those things that, that, that I think we read something the other day a while back about um, what's in Tesla, right? Tesla was going to do a battery. Yeah, yeah something mm-hmm. like that. And we do have another phone call. Good morning. You're on the air with Jim. Good morning. This is Seth with AA Lockbox. Hey, Seth. So, back to your facial recognition. You can't just put a mask on and expect the facial recognition to actually work properly because it's actually scanning live veins. Veins? It, it, the, it, it's scanning the live, uh, the live cells of the skin. It's scanning the veins. Oh, I see. Everything to make sure that it's actually a live silhouette that it's actually receiving uh, in front of it. There uh, you go. Oh, wow. Okay. So if you have high blood pressure one day, that's not going to let you in the house. <laughs> <laughs> wow. There's, there's many things that come, that come into play when it comes to the biometric uh, aspect because uh, years and years ago, for the very first biometrics, you know, as far as fingerprint readers, you know, there was that whole thing that you saw on TV where they could just adjust the fingerprint uh, lens and then put tape on it and you could duplicate a fingerprint that way. That was true on old biometric stuff, but that has all been been changed now with the optical. So it's actually reading the uh, it, it's reading the um, uh, the veins, it's reading the grooves, it's reading the whole silhouette of the finger, of the fan, hand, of the face, or what have you, whatever type of biometric that you're utilizing. Oh my goodness! So, so does your company buy some of that machine vision technology we were talking about? I have access to the uh, to the facial recognition. Um, I don't get into it. That's a little bit more advanced for, for my abilities. I've definitely done fingerprint recognition. Huh. Interesting yeah. stuff. All right. Seth, good to hear from you. All right. You guys have a good day. Thank, Thank you. you. That's fascinating, isn't yeah. it? That, that I know in some, when I go to Chicago and for conventions in New York, if you want to go up to any certain higher floors... Uh, you could put your thumbprint in because when you're at the front counter, instead of giving mm-hmm. you a card now that allows you to the 58th floor or whatever, mm-hmm. instead they have you put your thumb on on the little scanner thing and they scan it in. They say, okay, when you want to go up, just. Oh, my. So you take the elevator to like the 38th floor and get off. Then you get another elevator that goes, uh, let's say, up to uh-huh. the 50th or 60th. Just put mm-hmm. your thumb in there. Have you wow. ever gone to the secret top floor at the Ocala Hilton? The mysterious secret top floor? Ocala Hilton. Yeah. No. Secret. No. We asked Stacy mm-hmm. if we contribute to your fundraising campaign, can we go to the top floor? Yes. I, I don't we think we go. contributed, do we? <laughs> 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 yeah, it's a secret top floor. You didn't know that? They ought to give radio personality as a free tour. I say so. Yes. Yeah. I say so. Yeah. I heard there's a bar up there anyway. A bar. Uh, Jim, uh, what's your phone number? Eight five four ninety seven ninety five. All right, thank you. It was fun. Always yeah. fun. Thank you. you. Guys, have a great day. Thank you for telling me about Helen George. I can't yeah. wait to learn more. We'll great. take a little break. We'll be right back.
Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source.